And how was for you like being Stanford one more time, uh, see the players again before going for the the draft and the NFL? I was really cool to see my see my peers out there. Obviously, guys that that I came in with, and, and being here three four years later, having the opportunity to showcase our skills together, and then just seeing the rest of my teammates come out and support me that meant a lot to me. A lot of scouts uh, say about your ability on play on the left tackle and uh, the phenomenal work you've made in Stanford. But we know that in the NFL, on the next level, you might have to adjust. Playing the right tackle or maybe be moved for a guard is a problem. Is a is is something that is already on your in your mind. Uh, how do you see that possibility? Yeah, I mean it's no problem at all. Um, it's definitely something I've already thought about. Um, I mean, I've been training both right and left tackle and then working, you know, a little bit of guard um, the past few months, um, knowing, you know, coaches would want to see anything and, you know, be able to show that I can, you know, be a versatile player. You know, I'm not set on one position. I'm an offensive lineman. I'm going to you know, step in where, um, wherever needed. You know, I think I'm the best tackle in this draft, but um, I'll do whatever a what team needs me to do. Um, and I'm just there to compete and, you know, help a team win a championship. And, and going for the draft, you, you think that your game – could be better in some level, maybe on the running game or some something that you can improve and you could show on the pro day. Yeah, I mean, I think you know the objective of the pro day is really to show you're a, comp a complete player in front of these coaches, um, show athleticism, show quickness. But you know, we are able to do some you know run game drills and pass uh, protection drills, and you know showing you can do it all and you know you have strengths in all your game and that you, know, you can fit into any scheme that you want. Um, so that was really my objective there and. Um, I thought I was able to kind of do that today. Uh, I, I want to talk to you about the UCLA game. We talked with Simi and he talked about that game. That was a, a big game for, for Stanford. And I think for you, maybe it was the best game of the season. You think that that game was like a good example that, that what you can bring to the table and be the quarterback is going to be toughness and a good a good player on the final minutes of the game definitely i mean that last point you hit there i think that's the most important uh really closing out game strong um but yeah ucla was a good showing obviously i mean had t some turnovers that game which you never want to do uh big focus is always protecting the football but i think after those really came off from the sideline and rallied the troops to keep our heads up and Ended up putting together two really good drives at the end of the game to tie it up um, with like four minutes left. And then we ended up winning in double overtime. So kind of teaches you can, can never uh, give up. And we see a lot of, of quarterbacks on, this, on the NFL. There are guys who can run up the ball a lot and guys who run when they need to run. What kind of quarterback you see yourself? A guy who likes to run to the ball or run when you need to run to the ball? That second one, I think, um, I mean, obviously I can run if I need to, but I feel like to have the most success, I can get the ball to my playmakers out in space rather than myself. But if I need to run or move around in the pocket, I'm athletic enough to do so.